Hey guys, sorry for the messy do and the disgusting face. Just got done with the gym. I'm not sorry though, actually. This is how I look every day. Um, so I am making my goulash tonight. So you can see in the background, it is cooking. I got my meat cooking. Oh, actually my onions and my garlic. Here's my meat, it's about to go in. And then here's Lola's meat. <laughs> Um, so I am about to, I'm just going to show you guys how I make my goulash um, with a spaghetti squash. So instead of using pasta or, um, I might use a little bit of rice too, but instead of doing any kind of pasta or um, noodle, um, I'm going to show you how I cut and prep a spaghetti squash and bake it in the oven. Because I know a lot of my clients um, are looking for alternatives when it comes to pastas and spaghetti squash is amazing it's an amazing vegetable and if you haven't had it you have to try it um, and it's just a little you just have to basically get used to how to prepare it so I'm gonna show you how to do that um, so I'm just gonna set this down so that I can show you oh it's dark hold on a sec let me turn on the light in here that's the outside light all right there we go let there be light Okay, so here we go. So basically when you go to the store, you go to your grocery store, um, you'll go to the squash section where the butternut squash is, acorn squash, and you'll see the spaghetti squash. It kind of looks like a football, a yellow football. So this is what I already cut it just because that was like the hardest part for me. Um, and usually I had Nick do that, but he wasn't here and I almost killed myself trying to cut it with a butcher's knife, but I made it. I'm good. Um, so this is how it looks when it comes, okay? And then basically what I do is I slice it the long way and then I'll scoop it out. So I basically take a spoon and I scoop all the seeds out. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but once you do it, I'll show you what it'll look like. And it's kind of, a, again, pain in the butt to even get the seeds out, but you kind of have to shimmy it around. Sorry, you're seeing my butt right now. Okay. So there might be some stringy stuff in there. That's the spaghetti, so it's you don't want to waste that part. Just get rid of the seeds. So this is what it'll look like all scooped out, okay? So I'm just going to show you just based on one side. I'll, I'll do the other side on my own time um, just so I don't make this video a billion hours long. So I'll leave this here. I'm still getting used to trying to figure out how to video, so bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to grab my cooking pan. I just use a basic cookie sheet. You can use a glass, a glass, you know, casserole dish or something fancy, but it's just more to clean. So these, super easy. Um, and I'm just gonna cover it with olive oil. So here's my olive oil. Okay. And then I'm actually gonna do the same to the side of spaghetti squash. Just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on it around the edges, inside, and then just kind of mix it around, making a mess. Story of my life, I'm a messy person. Um, and then if you find any little seeds hiding in there, get rid of them, because those are not fun to eat. Um, looking good, okay, so then I will face it down on my pan. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like when I put it in the oven, just like that, okay? So that's really it. And then from there, I'm gonna throw that in the oven. Okay. And I cook it for about, you want, you'll wanna check on it, but I cook it for probably like 45 minutes to an hour. Um, you want it to be really soft. So the top, should, you should pretty much be able to just push right, push right in, not necessarily make a hole through the skin. Um, and then I'm gonna to touch back with you when it's all finished. So you can kind of see what it looks like and how it kind of resembles spaghetti. All right, I'll touch back in a sec. Is that good? Where are you going? Lola's enjoying her dinner and I'm just waiting to cut up my veggies and add it to the meat. Meat is cooking right now. So I just figured I'd spy on Lola enjoying her meat. Here she is again. Lola, she likes to run with her food and make a mess. Gross. Looking good. All right, I'm back. So is Nick. <laughs> He's camera shy. Okay, so goulash is on. It's looking good. Um, basically what I did is once I added my meat to the onions and the garlic, I 
just added some fresh seasoning, just a little bit, and then I'll add some more once I make my sauce. Um, so just cut up some peppers and some, some green peppers, some red pepper, and uh, some zucchini, if you can see, some green and yellow zucchini. I love my veggies. As you can see, it's boiling and looking good. And then I just added some of the um, this fresh pommy sauce, which I know it's in a box, but I don't have any more fresh garden tomatoes, so I had to use this. Um, and I didn't have time to do it fresh from buying tomatoes. So added the pommy. Now that it's starting to boil, it's looking a little watery. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of paste to it and kind of hopefully it'll thicken up. And then I'm going to add my secret ingredient. Can you guess what it is? It's amazing. Okay, so adding a little bit of paste. And I'll just add a little bit at a time to kind of gauge the thickness. Once it starts to cook off, it'll thicken. So I'll add about half of a six ounce can. Don't need much. Okay, so that you can see this going on. And then I'll add some more seasoning. So fresh seasonings that I use, I use a little bit of thyme and um, just a tiny bit of thyme. It goes a long way. And then just some uh, pepper, some salt, um, and some basil and oregano. And all dried seasonings today, nothing fresh. Um, You're seriously haying me while I'm videoing? He isn't getting, he's not getting used to this yet, so. Okay, so it actually thickened right up. So it looks delicious. You can see how much more thick it is now. Delishy. Okay, so that's basically, I'm just gonna add some more fresh seasonings to that. Cause I only added a little bit. So I got my thyme again. I'm actually just gonna do a little bit more oregano and basil. I don't need any more thyme, so. I don't really measure it out. I just kind of gauge it. I made this a bunch of times, so pretty much figured it out. And then I've got my secret ingredient. If you haven't already seen it, so delicious. There it is. Mm. Okay, so I'm just going to add a splash of this to it. A little goes a long way. So that's all set, it smells delicious and whiny. So I'm just gonna mix that in and that's gonna simmer probably for another 20 minutes or so until the spaghetti squash is ready because we're not ready to eat until that's ready. And then I'll probably cook up some pasta or some rice too for Nick because he doesn't like the spaghetti squash. Um, and I think that's it. So I will touch back in a sec. Okay, I'm back and it's all ready. So I'm gonna show you what the spaghetti squash looks like once it's cooked. I'm gonna pull it out of the oven. Here we go, so you can see what it looks like right from the source. Whoops, it's heavy. It's a heavy duty zucchini, or sorry, spaghetti squash. Got zucchini in the goulash, so I'm all, all sorts of squash going on. Okay, so this is what it looks like and if, as you can see, I can push on it. You can see that it pretty easily dents, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, I'm just gonna move this. This is already, the glue is all ready. You can see that that's ready to go as well. Mm -hmm. okay. So, I would flip this, which is probably scalding hot. Probably should let it set for a sec, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm starving. So late. I need to eat. I'm going to flip it over. Okay. And you can see how beautiful it looks on the inside. Nice golden brown crusty edge. I'm going to grab my fork. So that's the tool that we need to make it a spaghetti. And all you have to do is I'm actually going to set this down so you can see. All I do is I just take it and I start to fork it. Yep, just like that. <laughs> I fork it. So you can see it this way better. There we go. So you just take it and it kind of just falls apart and becomes, looks like spaghetti. So I'm gonna put it in my bowl. Okay, I'm just gonna take my little tongs, flinging food all over, comes out like this. Okay, I'll put, I'm not going to measure it out because I'm not having any rice. I'm just going to have this for my 
carb source. Okay, and I'll take probably about half of this spaghetti squash and I'll add it to my bowl. Okay, just like that. And I will add my goulash right over top. Take my goulash and I put it right over. Again, I don't measure my food because I don't need to. <laughs> this is pretty good stuff, so. Okay, that's for Nick. He had rice, his. I'm gonna give him a little extra meat. He loves his goulash. Okay. And voila, here it is, okay? And we do have to put a little bit of sprinkle of cheese on top. Delishy, little added addition to make it even extra tasty. And that's it, that's my goulash and my spaghetti squash. So hope you guys can try it yourself and that you enjoy and have a great night. Bye.